A rotating disc like this has some interesting properties that have a very useful application in aviation. When mounted so that the axis is free to move in more than one direction, this disc forms the heart of what's called the gyroscope. The disc is called the rotor. The mounting devices are called gimbals. A gyroscope may have one or two gimbals. A characteristic of a rotating mass like this is its tendency to maintain its original alignment in space, no matter what happens around it. Mounted to an aeroplane, the gyroscope remains stable in space as the aeroplane moves around it. Let's have a look at an example. A gimbal is attached to the aeroplane and able to freely rotate around its axis. Connected to an artificial horizon display, it can show the aeroplane's attitude to the pilot. This is achieved with a gyroscope attached to the gimbal. The rotor has a vertical axis and retains its alignment to the Earth's surface. The attitude indicator shows the bank angle now, while the aeroplane rolls around it. More gimbals give the gyroscope more freedom of movement. This allows the attitude indicator to show pitch attitude as well as bank angle. The level of rigidity of a gyroscope depends upon the mass and the speed of rotation of the disc. A large mass that is concentrated at the outer edge of the rotor, spinning at very high speed, provides the greatest directional rigidity. Most aircraft gyroscopes are rotors that are between 2 and 5 centimetres in diameter spinning at speeds between 4,000 and 55,000 rpm. The gyroscope has another very useful characteristic called gyroscopic precession. When a force is applied to the spinning gyroscope that changes its direction like this, the gyroscope responds with a force that is displaced 90 degrees to the direction of rotation and it tilts to the side like this. Of course, in reality, this happens at the same time. One instrument that uses gyroscopic precession is the turn indicator. This instrument displays the rate of turn to the pilot. In this instrument, the spin axis is horizontal. When the aeroplane turns, or changes direction to the right, for example, the precession effect causes the rotor to tilt and drive the instrument pointer to indicate a right turn. The greater the turning force, the greater the tendency of the rotor to tilt and the instrument to react accordingly. It is worth noting that precession and rigidity have opposite characteristics. If a gyroscope has a lot of rigidity, it will not precess very much. If it precesses a lot, it cannot be very rigid.